Hello, this is Dr. Papadakis. I'm a consultant of the Division of Gastroenterology and Hepatology here at the Mayo Clinic. I would like to talk to you today about an important study about genetics and inflammatory bowel disease. Inflammatory bowel diseases represent chronic inflammatory intestinal disorders which are classified into two main categories, ulcerative colitis and Crohn's disease. Both diseases often affect young men and women and may significantly affect their quality of life. Major advances in understanding of the genetic contribution to the development of inflammatory bowel disease have been achieved in the last decade. Using highly sophisticated genetic techniques such as genome-wide association studies, more than 163 IBD-associated risk loci have been identified. The unique features of inflammatory bowel disease may include variability in clinical presentation such as age of diagnosis, severity of the disease and associated complications, or even response to treatment. These unique manifestations are likely to be defined by a group of IBD-associated genes. The authors of one important study published in the journal Gastroenterology identified such genetic variants that are associated with very early onset inflammatory bowel disease, which is classified as age of diagnosis of less than five years. Using sophisticated genetic analysis named whole exome sequencing in a large number of patients with very early onset inflammatory bowel disease recruited from the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia, they have identified 400 genes in regions associated with primary immunodeficiency. Their analysis identified novel and rare variants within these genes that could contribute to the development of very early onset inflammatory bowel disease, including rare heterozygous missense variants of the interleukin 10 receptor alpha and previously unidentified variants involving genes in lymphocyte function. What are the implications of this important study? Firstly, the development of very early onset inflammatory bowel disease may be governed by a unique set of genes, of gene variants, and therefore testing for those gene variants would be important for diagnostic and prognostic purposes. More importantly, this opens a new avenue for therapeutic intervention based on the specific gene variants present in a particular patient with a disease which will allow targeted therapy in these patients. In the future, we anticipate that every new patient that is visiting, is visiting a dedicated inflammatory bowel disease center would be able to have specific genetic testing and tailor his or her therapy based on the specific genetic makeup of that particular individual. This would increase the likelihood of treatment success and at the same time minimize treatment-related side effects.